Hello and welcome to this video. This is a quick unboxing and overview of this Netgear 16 port gigabit ethernet smart managed plus switch. So this is a managed ethernet switch that allows you to set up VLANs, lag groups and various other routing related settings on the switch itself. This particular one is the GS116E. It's a standalone um, non-rack mountable unit. Uh, 16 ports and as it says on here, simple configuration. You can build user groups, prioritize voice and video, monitor and troubleshoot the network, etc. It comes with a limited uh, lifetime hardware warranty and tech support. So, looking around the box, on the side here, it says, package contents, 16 port gigabit ethernet smart switch. This is the GS116E V2 variant. It comes with a wall mount kit, so you can mount it to the wall. You could technically mount this in a rack I suppose, or put it on a rack shelf if you wanted to, but I'd just get a rack mount one myself for 24 port, which I've unboxed previously, click up here for that video. Also includes the power adapter and the quick install guide. The other side of the box, system requirements. So requirements are Category 5E, or Cat 5E or better Ethernet cable. That's for uh, gigabit connectivity, you need at least Cat 5E. You need a network card on each PC or device you're connecting, obviously. Xbox, PlayStation, anything would all connect as well. Windows 7, XP or Vista for running the configuration utility. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll run on Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows 11, whatever. Uh, but I don't tend to use the utilities anyway. I usually go to the IP address in a web browser and manage the switch that way. So standards compliance, it supports 10 base T, which is 10 megabit. 100 base TX, which is fast Ethernet, which is 100 meg and gigabit ethernet which is one gigabit per second a thousand meg compatible with all major networking software as you'd expect 16 rj45 ports it includes a 12 volt one amp power supply adapter so this uses a wall wart type power supply plug not a mains lead it has an external power supply operating temperatures humidities and all the other safety on the back of the box we've got some more details here so features, gigabit speed with QoS, which is quality of service, VLAN, virtual LAN, and network monitoring. Simple network setup on top of a plug and play connectivity. So by default, you can just connect this to the mains, plug devices in, and they'll just work. You don't actually have to configure it. However, I'd save the money and get the standard version if you don't need um, the VLAN and QoS and other configuration, configuration options, because they are considerably cheaper. Speaking of price, at the time of recording in October 2021, this cost around about £65 off Amazon. VLAN support for traffic segmentation, quality of service QoS traffic prioritisation, automatic denial of service prevention, troubleshoot connection issues via the cable testing function, so it has a, on the interface you can test uh, cables connected to ports with the switch, that's quite handy. Loop detection and broadcast storm control, so that's if you connect the switch to itself for example and it just causes an infinite loop. It can detect those and stop it. IGMP snooping for better multicast performance, which is used for internet television like um, UView from BT, TalkTalk, Talk, etc. This does not have PoE on this particular version, but it has pretty much everything else as you can see here. So we've got 16 gigabit ports, no PoE, and it supports all the other features. There's a little bit of a connection diagram showing you an idea of what you could do with it and segment between two different networks. So now let's open the box and look what's inside. So included in here you get a couple of screws, a couple of wall plugs and also some rubber feet that you can fit to the casing of the unit. We've got the power supply adapter itself which is a standard barrel type DC connector and that is a 12 volt 1 amp power supply. In here You've got a user's manual and something else. ProSafe Plus configuration utility access. So this tells you where you can get the utility from to manage the device. The default password is password for it, which is quite straightforward. Same for most things. I would advise you probably change that. And this is a safe battery handling and usage, which I don't know why that's in there, but okay. In the box itself here, we've got the switch. 
So this is the actual switch. It's in a grey finish. It's all metal. Heavy duty construction, as most net gear devices are. So, here's the unit itself. We've got a power indicator LED here. A little factory defaults button, which you'll have to push with a pin or a pen. That will completely reset any changes in configuration that you've made and take it back to factory settings. That also clears any passwords and IP address changes that you've done. All the ports have got the LEDs above them, unlike on the larger version I unboxed where they're separate. On this, each LED is above the port. One of them, so like on, is link and blink is act. If both LEDs are on, that port's connected at 1000 meg or 1 gig. If the left one is on, it's connected at 100 meg. If just the right one is on, it's connected at 10 meg. And that's what the indicators do. So for any gigabit connections, both LEDs should be on. And if it's lit up, it's idle. If it's flashing, there's an activity on the port. All the ports are across there. You've got the branding model over here. On the back, you've got some more ventilation. The DC power input connection there. There's also a little earthing grounding point here. And a Kensington lock hole. Then on the bottom here, you've got the marks for those rubber feet to go in. And two holes for mounting it to the wall, which you can put the screw in and then slide it on or across whichever way we've also got a few more specs down here so that's pretty much all i can show you in this video this is just a quick unboxing and overview not going too much into detail of it but they're all the basic specs that's what's in the box and uh, that's pretty much it for this video if you found this video helpful please leave a like any questions put them in the comment section down below and i'll try my best to answer them and get subscribed to my channel for future random technology videos just like this one thanks for watching